Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm gonna go over my top 10 best things about my childhood. And since today is October 12th, which is my birthday, I thought this would be a really fun video to make because I really loved my childhood. I had some really nice things growing up and I know we all had a bunch of cool stuff like during our childhood, whether it was like special memories or maybe like stuff that we grew up with and yada 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 so today i'm going to be going over all of my favorite things about my childhood and again this is going to be a video for my birthday and i thought this would be fun to do and i'm going to get started and i hope you guys enjoy the video Before I forget to warn you guys, the camera might cut on and off randomly because I might be getting phone calls during my video. So if the camera just cuts off, I do apologize. I'll turn it back on after I'm done with the phone calls. <laughs> So number one on my list should be going to the movies. So I like to go to the movies. It was really fun. Sorry, um, I got a Facebook notification. Anyway, so going to the movies was really fun. I would mostly, I think I would mostly go to the movies with my dad probably because my mom wasn't really much of a movie person at the time because movies were, um, pretty expensive sometimes and also my mom wasn't really a big fan of being in the movie theater but sometimes she would take me and my brother to the movies but I couldn't remember if it was mostly her or my dad taking us to the movies. I think it was mostly my dad because we would spend every other weekend with him and he always wanted to do something fun with us so he would take us to the movies. Number two on my list would have to be going to the local parks and going on the swing. So that was one of my favorite things is whenever my parents took me and my brother to the park, my mom and dad would switch off taking turns going crawdad fishing with my brother because my brother would go fishing for crawdads in the local park. And then one of my parents would take, and then either my mom or dad would um, take me to the swings. Like my mom or my dad would be watching my brother go crawdag fishing, and then either my mom or my dad would be pushing me on the swings. And it was really, really fun, and I really loved going on the swings, and I still do like going on swings. Anytime I go to the swings in my local park, I will go on them because it just brings back my childhood, and it was one of my favorite things to do. So number three on my list would have to be renting videos at the video store. So this is what we would do when I was a kid. Um, we didn't have like pay-per-view. We had pay-per-view, but you had to pay for it. We didn't really have like Netflix at the time or we couldn't watch movies on like Amazon. When I was a kid, we would go to the, if we wanted to go rent a movie that we didn't have, we had to go to a video store to get it checked out. And I loved going to the video store. My favorite thing was browsing through the kids' aisle and looking at all the kids' movies. And I do love kids' movies. And I really had like so much fun. Like my parents would take me to the kids' section and let me pick out a movie. And I just really loved watching kids' movies so much because I think they're so much, so cute. And I still like watching them today. They, and when I was in the hospital, my parents would take me to the video store a lot because I found that the movies were super distracting for me and they helped me go through chemo. And it was just a really good thing for me because at that time I was still watching cable TV in the hospital I was at, didn't have a lot of channels. And I do have a funny story about how one time my stepdad accidentally dropped the videos off at the wrong video store. And if you would like to see that video, I'll link that down below if you didn't see. <laughs> Yay! 
Number four on my list would have to be going for walks downtown in the areas that I grew up. So when I was a kid, my parents used to take me for walks downtown all the time. Sometimes we'd make trips to the library. Sometimes we made trips to the local antique stores. Sometimes we would make trips to the local candy store, or sometimes we just go straight to the local park, which I really liked. Liked, and I love taking walks downtown because I love looking at all the different stores that were around when I was a kid. And I just had so much fun because I loved just taking walks with my parents downtown and I thought they were just so much fun. Sorry, I just got a message from one of my very good friends. I'll have to text her when I'm done with this video. Um, number five on my list would have to be the bedtime stories my mom would read me. So I loved all the bedtime stories my mom would read me. She read me so many great books. Like Stella Luna was one of our favorite books. I hope they make a live, um, a computer animated film out of that because that would be really cool because that's one of my favorite books of all time. And she would read me a ton of little critters but I'd say probably my favorite was Stella Luna just because it was just a really fun book and my mom loved reading it to me when I was a little kid. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you didn't see my top 10 stories my mom would read to me as a kid, I will link the video down below for when I was a kid, not when she was a kid. I wouldn't have been alive at that time. <laughs> Number six on my list would have to be the trips going camping we would have with family and friends. So my mom takes us has been taking us up to this local spot for camping since we were baby, since my brother, sister, and I were all really little. And it was a place my mom grew up camping at with her brothers and sister, sister. And it's one of her favorite places to go camping. And it's like a family place for us all to go camping. And um, we would take so many nice trips down there and we mostly take the trips on the weekends due to school. But in the summertime, I think we would have the camping trips planned. Um, I think maybe four or five days. I don't remember, but um, most of the time whenever we went camping, we would take two days to go on these camping trips just so we could pack everything up easier easier and they were just so much fun because we would bring our dogs, we would spend so much time. <laughs> Sorry about that, I got another call. But anyway, we would bring sand toys, we would bring like snacks to eat and we would just like have so much fun. We would make s'mores at night, we would have barbecues at night. And it was just really fun. I loved all my family camping trips because they were great and we would spend time, so much time together. <laughs> Sorry about that, I got cut off by another birthday call. But anyway, um, so, where was I? Oh, I was on the camping trip. So I love the camping trips we would take and oh no i think i was moving to the movie sorry that was my tablet um number seven on my list would have to be the movies i grew up watching so i love the movies i grew up watching um like the fox and the hound or beauty and the beast um those were movies that were just part of my childhood. Dumbo was part of my childhood. I'm sure a lot of you guys were Disney fans when you were children and stuff, but these were all my favorite films growing up and I watched them tons of times no matter how many times I drove my parents crazy with them. And they were just really, really fun movies because they just made me so happy as a kid. And I sometimes felt bad, but my mom didn't mind because she was used to it. <laughs> I mean, I felt bad watching the same movie over and over and over again and driving my mom crazy with it, but she was used to it and my dad too. Yay! 
Number eight on my list had to be the safety lessons my parents walked me through. So this was a really good thing that my parents walked me through all these safety lessons because if they didn't, I would have probably gotten bad things have happened to me. So what they would do is whenever I was home alone and they didn't want me to answer the door for anybody, they would walk away, pretend to be gone and see if I would answer the door. And then if I didn't, they um, had to like do it as a, and if I didn't, they would say, good job, you didn't answer the door. Cause one of the rules I they had when I was home alone was I was not supposed to answer the door for anybody. I didn't know who it was was when I was home alone because around and they had to walk through why I didn't wasn't supposed to be doing it. They had to explain why, blah, 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 and how she I need to be careful and ask who's at the door before answering it or ask your parents if you can answer it. Yada 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 yada. So they had to go through all that stuff with me so that um I could be aware of these things and when when I wasn't supposed to be answering the door was I, or what I wasn't supposed to be doing that's dangerous. Yay! Number nine on my list would have to be going on downtown trips for ice cream in the local areas. So when I was a kid, we had a local candy slash ice cream stop ice cream shop, excuse me, in my city. And my mom would take me down there for ice cream whenever we, it was a really hot day and she wanted to treat us to ice cream. Cream and this local candy shop had ice, ice cream and candy. And it was a really good sweet shop. I loved it so much. It's no longer in business downtown anymore. And it went out of, it just went out of business due to the rent being high, I think. And they just closed the whole store down. Now, cause there was no place for it to move or relocate because the rent was so high. Hi, and when I was spending the weekend at my dad's every other weekend, he would take, my dad would take me and my brother down for ice cream and he would take us to dryers and I would get chocolate, and my dad and I would both get chocolate ice cream. My brother would get bubble gum ice cream in an extra cup so he could spit the bubble gum balls from the ice cream out of the, into the cup. And it was pretty funny, funny. So I loved all the trips going to get ice cream, especially going to the local foster freeze where they had soft served ice cream. And I love soft served ice cream. It was so good. Just one of my favorite things to do downtown. Number 10 on my list would have to be taking trips to the candy store. So this was one of mine, my sister, and my brother's favorite things to do. We would take trips to our local candy store, which also had ice cream. And I know I just mentioned this a little bit ago, that we would take trips to the local ice cream store and we would get some candy there. I remember I would get, I think these sour gummy watermelons. They weren't sour patch watermelons. They were just big watermelons and they had like sugar on them. They were like a gummy candy. I don't remember exactly what they were called, but they were these big gummy uh, watermelons. Um, I really can't remember what they were called. My brother would get the gummy sharks and my sister would just get any kind of candy she wanted in the store. Or so we loved taking local trip trips to the local candy store because they had so much really good candy they even had like peanut butter cups not like Reese's peanut butter cups but the peanut butter cups that were store brand and um they just had some really good candy there and sometimes my mom would get some ice cream there for herself like she'd get like a coffee ice cream I think I don't remember what kind she got but I know she would get some ice cream there and we definitely just loved going to the trips to the candy store just because they were so much fun and we just loved all the candy they had in there. Sadly, that candy store went out of business, I think in 2019, because I think the rent was so high. But luckily, but luckily there are other stores in my city that do sell candy, like the local Walgreens, um, just a bunch of other nice stores that sell candy. So those are my top 10 best things about my childhood. I hope you guys liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I apologize for some of the interruptions of...
the camera cutting off. I'm just getting phone calls like crazy right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!